What's up, everybody? ADS Play 101 here with another episode of The Feels Reaction Series. I gotta find something else to do because that is so corny to me, but I'm gonna still do it until further notice. But forgive my lighting, you know it's terrible. I go through this all the time. You know, I even tried to raise the window up, that didn't help at all, but it is what it is. Matter of fact, let me close this, maybe that one. doesn't even improve it a lot. But there have been some videos I've been wanting to do some reactions to, some game tra some gameplay trailers. And um yeah, I literally can't wait because it's been certain ones that I just had to take time and you know wait till the right time to do a reaction to them. And we're here already. So I like fuck it. Let's try to see what um see what it's about, man. And I'm gonna give my thoughts on it. Oh and uh yeah. Let's go. I like how they go through every fucking game. Like, I like how they went through all the Budokais. Tease us like that, man. A new Budokai Tenkaichi begins. So this Budokai Tenkaichi 4 trailer, I'm happy for it. Um, ever since I seen this announcement trailer, I decided, you know, I was going to get an emulator, download uh, Tenkaichi 3, and just get my practice in so I can get familiar with the game all over again. Because... I mean, it's been how long since we had? I think Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was on, what, the PS2? So we didn't have a Budokai Tenkaichi. I know they had, like, Raging Blast and all that other bullshit. That Raging Blast was trash to me. I didn't even like it. But, you know, Xenoverse kind of spiritually took over where Tenkaichi left off from the PlayStation 2. And to see that we're getting another Tenkaichi, you know, we've been asking for this shit. I know I've been asking for it forever. And I know people that I know have been asking for it forever. So we finally getting it. So I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited for it, but I wish they would have, it's just a teaser trailer, but it's enough to like, you know what I'm saying? It's enough to build anticipation. You know, all they had to do was mention that we making it. They didn't have to really give us any gameplay, though that would have been appreciated. But, you know, but they give that, you know, considering that Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku is going to be in there. Um, it kind of gauges what type of timeline they're going to be basing it around, which is obviously Dragon Ball Super, and uh, you know, hopefully that means we get Jiren, uh, and the rest of those guys associated with him. Maybe we get the Tournament of Power, uh, saga in there. Hopefully they don't short side it or try to abbreviate it and try to short us on the characters. I want to see every character that was involved in that, that actually had a move set displayed. Um, you know, like I really want to see that maybe have some team, uh, supers in there. Cause they did have them in the tournament of power, you know, see Dispo, uh, see Tapo, you know, all those guys. Like I want to see, Everybody that was involved, I want to see the, the guys that Master Roshi was fighting, those other Namics that Goku and uh and Piccolo were fighting. That's this is who I want to see in the game, you know. So and just anybody, so that they can put in there. So I'm excited for it, man. I just 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 do the game justice. I'm not expecting this to get released until either the end of this year or like early next year, or you know. So hopefully they just do it right. Cause I'm tired of Xenoverse. I'm tired of looking at Xenoverse. You know, 
Xenoverse 2 somehow got a second win out of nowhere when the developers found out people were still actually playing the game as much as they were playing it. And they decided to put some more DLC characters in there, which was a complete waste. But, uh, it, but there was a leaked list that came out like last year, like late last year, where they showed all the Bandai Namco's uh, qu quarterly releases. In v in a in a in a Xenoverse three was scheduled for the fourth quarter of this year, or to be released in two thousand twenty three. If if that list is anything uh, credible, which some of those releases were already released this year, even though it didn't fit the timeline of that particular leak, then we're getting Xenoverse three this year, and it's kind of crazy if they're gonna do. Tenkaichi 4 and Xenoverse 3 this year. You know, that's that, that'd be kind of crazy. Or they've taken everything that they would have did for Xenoverse 3 and they're making Tenkaichi 4 with it. So that could be something else. But, but yeah. But that was my opinion on the Tenkaichi, the Budokai Tenkaichi 4 trailer. I hope they do the game justice and it, isn't some, it, it doesn't end up being some cheap cash in because these gaming companies, they have a history of doing that. And I just wanted the game to be done justice. That's that's pretty much it. So that's my opinion on it. I think you guys would agree. See you guys next time for another reaction. Peace.